Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. That's right, we have the new Avios MiG-17 Fresco. This is the plug and fly version. You can see the specs here. It's 1420 millimeters long, 1200 millimeters wingspan. It has split flaps, it has speed brakes, it has retractable gear, inner gear doors, LED lights. It just doesn't get any better than that. And a cool camo MiG-17 scheme box here, some of the stuff. ESC is 100 amp brushless. Takes 6S 5000 40C. Show you what's all on the box. I really dig the camo, it matches my F16. Really nice graphics on the box, very good looking. Show you how it's packaged and then we'll get into the bill. So right away on the top here we have the decals. I read they were water slide decals. And then in here you can see everything is pretty well packaged. Get my knife out here and we'll kind of break a couple things out. This is a 90 millimeter, I believe it is fan. This is not a small airplane. It's going to be really cool. I'm really pumped to fly this one. Apparently the landing gear is extremely beefy. Um, should hold up to anything. So that means grass field operations will be a piece of cake. One more piece of tape here. So yeah. Let's see. See the wing, it's got the little pedo tube will go in here. LED light out here on the end. Looks like everything made the trip well. Landing gear in there. So, anyways, we will get these things out. Tape gets me every time. There we go. Packaged very well. Here's the other wing. You'll see on the end here, it has a connector for all of the servo wires to go into. Your screws will go in here. I'll show you more details when we get into it. Very free moving. Oh, these actually have hinges. Actually have hinges in them. Very nice, like pin hinges. I just can't wait to see the fuse and pump. Oh yeah. Got inner gear doors. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's a little dark, sorry about that. Got a cool scale detail in there, big hatch. Even got gear doors on the nose wheel, love it. Here's where those speed brakes will be back here. Awesome, very cool. Here's those inner gear doors I was talking about. Great, all right, well I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff taken out of the box here, and then we'll get onto the build. Can't wait. Okay, here's everything in the package. Got your big vertical rudder, your elevators, the wings. Here's a bunch of the wing fences that'll go on the wings here. You've got like pedo tubes and little guns and and cool little things. Here's all your hardware and some Velcro. One thing I want to point out here that I'm like uber impressed with so far is typical foamies just have foamy hinges. These actually have there's like some sort of actual hinge in there. It's not that easy to see in there, but these are the freest moving things. See how they stay? These have the best hinges I've ever seen on a foamy. Look at this rudder though. Top and bottom move. Same deal, has actual hinges. Well, I take that back. The rudder does not by the looks of it, but the rest of them do. The wings here, the ailerons, have actual hinge hinges. 
you can see by how it rotates in there. Then you've got your split flaps here. The cool thing, these are even labeled flap aileron. The servo covers are labeled. Very nice. You can see that servo connection here I'm talking about. Very cool. The LED light on the wingtip there. Awesome. It's going to be a nice quick build. Excited to get into it. Pop this hatch off. You got a nice big, big battery compartment. You've got a little like gear door sequencer box in here. I'll give you guys a rundown of kind of the ins and outs of things as we get to it. Make sure you get a big battery. It's got this big yellow plug. Everything is labeled for where it goes into your receiver. Yeah, pretty awesome. I'm so pumped to get this together and going. So let's get into the build. So the first thing the manual wants you to do is to glue like these pitot tubes into the wing tips, the wing fence is on. This is a gun pod or something that goes on the bottom. This is a skid that will go on the back. Um, what I'd kind of like to start with is doing the linkages and stuff and then I'll put on all these scale bits once it's sitting on its landing gear and, and do that stuff last so it doesn't get in my way. So basically all you're going to do is start getting your linkages out like for the gear doors, um, the elevators, flaps, ailerons, rudder. So I'm going to get all that stuff done. Then we're going to assemble the bird and then we'll do the scale bits from there. So it's not what the method set or the manual says to do, but that's how I'm going to do it. So here we go. I'm going to get uh, some stuff laid down here so that I don't damage anything when I'm dinking around on it. And we'll start doing it and I'll come back as I get each step done in my method. Okay, flaw in my plan. Um, obviously you got to hook it up to center all the servos before you put the linkages on, which I did. I put it on the fuse, got my receiver in there. Um, but when it's off and you put the linkages onto the servos, there's no way they stay where they're supposed to. So we're going to go back to the original plan. The manufacturer had a pretty good idea. I'm still going to wait on all the scale bits. I'm just going to put all the surfaces on the fuselage. So I'm going to assemble the jet and then I'll do the linkages and stuff there because that way I can have everything powered up and that way my servos will stay centered when I put the linkages on them. Um, you can see here though on the Sorry about the light again. I'll get that a little better here, but you can see everything comes with hardware. Every bag is perfectly labeled um, and has the right amount of stuff for it. Pretty awesome. So like I said, I'm going to get these on there and adjusted so that I can get these neutral at neutral. So we'll get it assembled. I'll get the linkages on and I'll give you a run through from there. Okay, I've got the rudder on. There's just four screws, one, two, two on the other side. And inside about this section, there's the wires to hook up for your elevators and the rudder. So basically, we got the vertical on. Now we'll go to put the elevators on. So the elevators, you're going to have this little carbon spar goes in the middle. Um, the elevator package has these two little screws. Going to come down from the top down in. That's what's going to hold them on. So we'll get that on and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to put the wings on now. You can see here they take a little allen headed screw of some sort. Got the one on here. I'll show you that connector. Here's the connector, automatic connector for the servos. Check out those speed brakes. Oh yeah. Here's where it goes on here. You can see the connector pins in there. Okay, you guys want to see something cool? You got to see this. Gear down. That's just awesome. Then the speed brakes here on the back. We've got our flaps, ailerons, elevators, rudders, everything is working like a boss. But look at these landing gear. Big bad boy aluminums, got suspension on them. It's kind of hard to do sitting upside down here on a stand, but uh, 
they're going to hold up to some stuff. No doubt about that. You can see down here, if you guys can see it, I'll see if I can manually focus it. No, I can't. Speed control's down there. You can see the motor back in there. I've got everything done. Here's all my linkages. The aileron. Now I did the flap. Same on the other side. The gear door ones were kind of tricky. What I did, I need to adjust this one probably a half a turn in further. But let me flick them up here and you can see them work. Is I did that and then I unplugged the battery because they go straight up. And then I got the gears doors going straight up and uh, adjusted it from there. But this one I got to do just a little bit more. This one sits really nice. But there's the rudder and the elevators. Everything is done and easy. The screws to hold the main wing in. Don't forget the spar in that. Here you can see the LED light. Yeah, so I'm going to start putting, gluing on the guns and sights and the little tail skid thing I told you goes here. And then I'll flip it over, get my throws and stuff set up, get my receiver placed, and put the wing strikes, whatever you call the wing fences on, pedo tubes. And yeah, so coming together quick. I don't have much time on it. And it's working out pretty good. So big thumbs up for everything being well engineered and going together quick and easy. Okay, so these guys here, some of these little tubes will go in here. The big tube will go into that big one there. But you're going to have to cut these off because once these are done, they will glue into these slots here. So just wanted to show you what it looked like before we went that. So we're going to cut them off, glue the guns in. The smaller gun goes here, the medium gun goes here, and the big one goes there. Okay, here we go. We've got the pitot tubes on. Here's the guns. I put a little extra glue around this one because there was a lot of leverage and it had a lot of wiggle. Um, but anyway, there's all the guns on. The other pitot tube. This, I don't know what you call it. Probably keeps the tail from striking. Another cool little thing. Look at how they painted the nozzle different color there. Gives it a nice little bit of contrast. But anyways, so we're going to flip it over now, and then I'm going to put the rest of these bits on, and I'll show you where they go. Okay, so these other pieces or antennas or whatever, there's a little slot here. That's where that guy's going to go in, and then this white guy here is going to go on here like so. So I'll put a little glue on there and get them installed. Okay, here we go. This is everything installed. Got the wing fences on, whatever you want to call them. Little, I don't know, that's a pitot tube. I'm not sure what, that's a radio antenna of some sort. I'm not sure on that guy, but anyways, I just put CA glue down in the cracks and then just stuck the fences in there. Stuff like this, I just put a little CA, foam safe CA, obviously, on the very end of the tube and shoved it in there. I hope these last. They're kind of out there, but uh, time will tell. But she's looking pretty cool, looking pretty scale. I'm going to set up my, or get my receiver mounted, set up my throws and rates, and it's ready to fly with a good balance and a radio check. Okay, I almost forgot. You've got some water slide decals here that um, the manual shows where they go. And on the bottom of the wings, you'll see all the wires are still exposed. Well, it comes with these strips. Here's the different colors. So you can cover them. You can see on this one here, I covered them. I cut the strips to match. I had a little gap here, I'll fix that yet, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So, before and after. Okay, everybody, here it is. It's done. It's balanced. It is, throws are done. Everything is done. Here's where I mounted my receiver. I put a couple remotes. Um, I went above and beyond than your average foamy for this one because it was so special. So with my Nanotech 5000 pack 6S, this is where the front of the battery pack lied. And it balances, how can I show if you guys see this under here? Hopefully it focuses. It balances just a smidge behind the mains. This is right around 300 millimeters. That's what you want. So I just kind of feel underneath for this little plastic block and get my fingers on it. And that's where that's gonna work out at. So there you go. It's going to be great. I can't wait to get this thing in the air tomorrow. I'm going to do some range checks. It's dark out now, so it's a little late. Got my 12X all ready to rock. And yeah, wish me luck. 
Okay, the final thing here is getting the water slide decals on. Got them on the tail down here. Got it on the wing here. This final star will go on this wing. And so you've got a star, a star, 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 and then the tops of the wings as well. When we flip it over, I'll show you where those ones are. In case you've never done water slides before, it's just like it sounds. You cut them out, cut around them, put them in water. They'll shrivel up, then they'll flatten out again. Then you just hold it up in place and you just kind of kind of slide the paper out from underneath it. So you'll you'll water slide it. Okay, there you go. I just slid it off. You can see it's all wet. Now I'll just take a rag and I just kind of try to do this one-handed. Try to do this one-handed and dab it. Get dry some of the water off, but that's really about it. You can position them once you set them down. Kind of get them situated. Get the water out from underneath it. The rest of it will dry and you're golden. Okay, here we go, y'all. It's the early morning next day. GB Linen's on his way out here, just doing my morning shots. Um, yeah, it's maiden time. It's done. It's balanced. It's beautiful. Look at that, baby. Sorry about my shadow here, but it is ready to rock. So, fingers crossed, everything goes off well. I'm sure it will. Look at that big wing on that thing. Just looks fast sitting there, doesn't it? So, nothing holding me back but fear. Here we go. Wow.